Hello, my name is Valdrin and welcome back to Dungeon Siege 3. So, I was away for a little bit, I had to finish off some deadlines for work. Usually when they come, they come pretty fierce and fast, and then I have to basically drop out everything I've been doing in that week. Uh, but it's over now, so I can go back to, uh, well, doing the LP. Um, we just finished everything in Stonebridge and we are on our way to the Aranoi Desert to find a Lost Legion member, Dumane. The Aranoi is a temperate desert, you know. It actually gets rather cold here. Ah, that must be the Abbey. Let's hope Dumane is still there. I like the little vistas that they've entered into the game, like over here. I think there was also one in uh, the icy region there, and I slightly skipped. You couldn't see much of it. Now, what's this then? If this inscription is worn by wind and sand, may the fires of our three shrines burn bright, may the keepers of the flame remain vigilant in their watch. To all who keep the light eternal, know that as an I himself shall reward your service. Well, that appears to be some kind of quest, I believe, in lighting fires. Spiritual energy. Something terrible happened here. I like that we're in a geographic region we haven't been yet, in a desert that is, but it's skeletons again, eh? Oh well. That guy I've fought his type before can do one very dangerous attack. Uh, let me get the shield up and let's see whether I can goat him into doing it. Yes, that. That can pretty much one hit me if I'm not careful because of the insane range that the attack has. Other than that, he's just a big skeleton. Around this area there are a whole bunch of these little areas that are hidden away behind destructible rocks. I think they went a bit overboard with that in the DLC. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of interesting going on in this part of the desert other than killing skeletons and looting skeletons and other things to do with skeletons. So I'll just skip ahead to the more interesting parts. Oh, yes, of course, they level up. Well, that is a more interesting part. I believe we didn't finish Fall from the Heavens yet. Yes. I don't need more knockdown or stun. We've already got way enough of that going on already, so let's make it do more damage. And, oh yes, Phoenix's warmth for the healing. And for him, I was building up something over here. Mm, either more damage or even more splash damage. Let's make him deal more damage to more enemies instead of just more damage. And I believe, yes, another hidden area where I can loot a chest. You do want to get the loot out of this area, especially because it's worth a lot and you need a ton of money to get all the enchantments on your items, and also to respec your character if you would like to do so in this area. I think it's 20,000 gold coins per character, and that adds up pretty fast if you have multiple of your characters to respec. Now what's that then? A sandstorm priest? Isn't he going to spawn those weird bubbly things at far- Oh, he's dead. Well, alright. We'll find out what he does later on. If I remember correctly, those priest guys are a lot more dangerous in the desert than they were outside of the desert. Holy shit, that dies quickly. I like the music in the desert. I actually like the desert. Ah, oh, let me check up on that. These Lisconsi wagons were battered by violent winds and partially buried in the sand. If a sandstorm was responsible for what happened here, it must have been powerful indeed. I wonder whether we're going to get anything else out of that. 
The only thing that disappoints me a little bit about the desert is that there are mostly skeletons so far. Uh, not a very interesting type of enemy. Though the caster enemies are more fierce. And we'll be getting to one quite soon. I mean, this is just a whole bunch of... Yep. Skeletons with bows, skeletons that run towards you and try to kill you. Ah yes, those are the caster guys. They spawn sand gargoyles, I would say. And they also throw projectiles at you that move very quickly and damage a lot. Very old. Late Imperial Age, I think. Well, let's investigate that. The inscription says, This flame is dedicated to Hatha Runok, who brought Azanai's light to the Empire. We pray here in his memory for the grace to give comfort and healing to all who seek our aid. Well, I'm curious what that does then. But let's first loot. Ah yes, one of the ultimate abilities. And we have now unlocked the first of three ultimate abilities. I believe this one is... Ah, it doesn't say so. But there are two other shrines. Are, are there any of the three? Yes, there are three shrines in total. Each one of them give us the uh, ability to choose one ultimate. And this one, activated by pressing V, is allows us to be healed by the number of full power orbs that we have left. So if we use it when we have four power orbs left, I expect to be a I expect a pretty powerful heal. Uh, but I'm not sure whether I'd use it at that point. To be honest, I'd rather just heal myself. But I can imagine that it is a bit more powerful if you only have one orb left, and then use the ultimate. And that is a boss, a real descent shape, but that might be dangerous. Yes, that is going to require a hell of a lot of dodging. Jesus Christ. Ronald, are you okay? Oh, I think he's doing fine. He's actually doing better than I. Jesus Christ. Alright, come on over here. That's a lot of damage. Alright, I should be fine for now, I think. Let's drop that. No, I don't have any focus. Alright, that was a miscalculation. No, actually, I can just drop an empowered version over there without... Oh yes, more skeletons, why not? Come over here, come over here, into the flames with you. Good. Death Glass Lattice. That looks... well, at the very least it looks expensive. Let's see. Um, how do we get there? What is it actually? Oh, it was one of these. Uh, we already accidentally equipped it. I think one of these was the earlier ones. Agility, a less attack, but a amazing amount of willpower. Good lord. How does it look? It's a spiky ball thingy me jig. Oh well. If it makes him do more damage, I'm happy. Let's continue. Ah, oh, what is this then? Warning, a giant sandworm has been sighted nearby. It has devoured every person who has ventured into its lair, including several well-armed adventurers. Do not be lured by rumors of treasure in his belly. This creature should be avoided at all costs. Poppycock. This thing needs to die. It's got treasure. I assume this is going to be the right uh, the right direction? Yes, of course. I was trying to get this thing up into mastery, wasn't I? Let's try and spawn uh, the firejack more often then. Stubborn little bastards these are. They're not dangerous or anything, it's just that they're difficult to damage. Yes, this looks like an arena. Ooh, he's got a lot of health. And that is a lot of spawn. Mm, shouldn't be too difficult to, uh, though. I don't have a lot of health, so... 
What's he doing? Oh, he's spawning some kind of poisony rubbish. I think I'm just going to try and burst him down whenever he spawns the... this thing. The only thing that he can do that deals damage, I think, is the huge poison attack. Yeah. So it's either his adds or the poison attack and everything else is useless. Okay, well, I can deal with that. Um, yeah, hello. Welcome back. Oh, come on. Stop hiding. I'm just going to use the firewall. Jesus. I wonder whether the, uh... Ads are no longer... S oh yes, there they are, alright. But the little ones don't spawn. I guess that's an ability he actually has to use. Perhaps we're just dealing too much damage. Here's this poison, poison. This is a bit of a boring fight, actually. To my surprise, thought it'd be more dangerous. Anything that disappears for a while and you then can't attack is not really a fun mechanic. Yes, recent triumphs. What are you attacking? Oh, the, the rubbish is still there. Only blue stuff, but it's nine, ten thousand worth. Well, that seems fair enough. I guess there's nothing we can actually hand this into because we just picked it up from a sign. Oh well. Uh, let's return. Now then, didn't we actually need to go to some kind of abbey? Uh, this is the only path that I haven't been to yet, so I guess this must be the right direction. Uh, it's still not dead. Um, un... un... dead. I don't know. Anything I can do here? No. Let's just go to the Abbey. You welcome, friend. This is the Abbey of St. Hiram. Sister Eleanor will want to meet you. I think she's praying in the chapel. Sister Eleanor will want to meet you. Yes, yes, yes. You have already said that. The uh, these waters are consecrated to Radiant as an eye. Cleanse yourself in the pool and be born anew. Uh, basically meaning, do you want to respec your character? Player re-specialization, yes. A sum of 20,000 coins is deposited <laughs> into their depths. I don't understand how exactly that happens, but I guess they needed to attach some sort of cost towards respecking. No. Oh, I can even uh, respec Reinhardt, yes. Nice. I don't want to, though. I am going to respec at some point, but I'm going to have to put some more thought into what kind of a character I want to build first. Are you looking for Sister Eleanor? You'll find her in the chapel. All right, we've already heard that. We have weapons and armor to trade. Have a look at our stall if you like. Ah, uh, not right now. Sister Eleanor can help you. I'm new to the abbey myself. Let's head into the chapel then. I was in the abbey tower and I saw the old causeway come to life. Your legionnaires. I'm glad you made it here safely. Not everyone does. Not even the ones who are armed as well as you. Not to be rude, but you're a lot more hospitable than the other Azunites I've met. When Jane rose to power, the monks of this abbey turned away from her church. We do our work in Azunai's name, not Jane's. I'm sure she'd like nothing better than to teach us all a lesson in obedience. Fortunately, she's very busy and very far away. Now what's this then? Did they discover camera angles in the DLC? Well, let's try that again. I fought undead monsters in the desert. Is this place under some kind of curse? Yes, but it's always been like this. Centuries ago, long before the monks built the abbey, this was a religious center. A refuge for an Azanite patriarch and his followers who came here from the Empire of Stars. Then they turned to heresy and the Legion was sent to destroy them. Now they haunt the ruins, sometimes asleep, sometimes not. 
I don't think the frontal shots of my character actually work that well during the conversations. Reinhardt looks a lot better. Uh, oh well, let's continue the conversation. I came here to find someone. His name is Etienne Dumarnay. The Legion hero, yes. He was here, but that was years ago. He went into the vault under the abbey. No one ever saw him again. And the vault is sealed, we don't know how to get inside. We were told that Dumarnay was here, waiting for us. Maybe he got out of the vault. No one at the Abbey has seen him, but if you want to know for sure, only one person could tell you, our former abbot. His name was Simeon. He showed Dumarnay how to get into the vault. They went inside together, but only Simeon came out. Dumarnay was looking for something here. What's inside the vault? The greatest treasure of the faith. We don't know anything more about it apart from the name. I've lived all my life at this abbey. I've read every book I could find, and none of them gave me so much as a clue. That must be what Dumane was after. Could Simeon have killed him? Simeon? No. Our abbot was many things, but he certainly wasn't a killer. I knew Simeon when I was very young. He tutored me, taught me to love the books in this place. Underneath all his bluster, he was a good man. Is this Simeon still alive? I think so. He abandoned the Abbey years ago. Now he lives out in the desert, somewhere in the ruins. If you're going to look for him, I'll ask the monks to unlock the Abbey gate. You may come and go as you like. Our Abbey is protected against the undead, so you can use this place as a refuge, and I'll help however I can. You seem eager to help us. I'm a little surprised. All these years, I thought the Legion was gone, but I always admired them, and what they stood for. When I was little, I read every book in our library that had even a mention of the Legion. A childish obsession, that's what Simeon called it. If I'm looking for Simeon, where's a good place to start? There's another set of ruins close to the Abbey, set back into a gorge. That's the only place the monks have ever seen him. I don't think he wanders any farther into the desert. Can you tell me what else is out there? A temple. Abandoned for centuries. They say that it's guarded by old magic from the time of the Empire. There's also a cave, the source of an ancient spring. One of our monks spends most of his time there. Why would this monk spend his days in a cave? Eridia is very old. Older than Simeon. He's been here longer than any of us. He believes that the cave is more than it seems. He thinks it's the reason that the temple and the vault were built here. Thank you. I'm sure I'll see you again. Please tell Simeon that he is missed, and he's always welcome to come back to us. Well, before we head out, let's first explore the abbey. Oh, there's actually some very nice lead in glass work. Or should I say glass and lead work? Ah, oh, they just repeat. I just hope they told a story or something. What's this then? Reliquary of St. Hiram, an ancient looking skeleton, lies upon the stone bear. In the alcove behind the bear, someone has painted a large portrait. Now, the rotund figure is dressed in the simple attire of an Azanite monk. You recognize him as St. Hiram, Ab's only native born saint. A fine golden ring marked with the shield of Azanai adorns Hiram's right hand. It seems out of place in contrast to his humble monk's robe. The body has been wrapped in fine robes, and it wears a large gilded symbol of the Azanite church. Aside from its missing hand, the skeleton looks well maintained. Alright, so apparently somebody has absconded with the ring. These are the bones of our patron, Saint Hiram. Jolly fellow. That's his portrait on the wall. Yes, uh, sorry, but no church prelate can be that jolly and not have some sort of terrible past. Oh god, there's law. Yep, there is going to be a massive amount of law here, I guess. And loot. Well, as always, you're going to be supplied with law in off-site screenshots. 
And this is an ominous door. Isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Undoubtedly, we are going to have to return here at some point. Anything else? I believe there's only more lore, so I'll just skip ahead a bit. Ah, not just an ominous door, there are even ominous braziers. An ancient stone altar stands before you. Though the braziers that flank the altar are unlit, they radiate intense heat from an unknown source. Yes, 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 yes. Alright. Enough about all this heavy stuff. Let's head out into the desert and get a sunburn. Oh, now you actually do want to talk to us. Could I speak with you? Alright. We're not supposed to ask favors of our guests, but I need your help, and I can't tell the other monks. Alright, I'm listening. A few weeks ago, a traveler came to the Abbey. His name was Marlow. He spoke well, dressed well. In short, he seemed a gentleman of quality, and I grew fond of him. He told me that he felt the same. But he had debts, or so he said. He begged me for coins from our treasury, so one night, I stole the key. Yeah, this is going into an obvious direction. Let me guess, this Marlowe was really a thief. As soon as I opened the treasury door, he struck me, knocked me unconscious. Marlowe must have known what he wanted from the start. A golden chalice that belonged to Saint Hiram. He took the chalice and left everything else. Our brother treasurer doesn't even know it's gone. Not yet. I beg of you, find Marlow and bring back the chalice. I'll put it back in the treasury and no one will ever know. The bloke didn't have to hit her. Just ignore her or steal the damn thing. Do you think he's heading south? Back to Ebb? No. There's any number of scoundrels in the desert. Maybe he's planning to sell the chalice to one of them. Marlow is smart. I think he'll stay near the abbey until he finds a buyer. He won't risk carrying the chalice for long. He left the gate unlocked behind him, so I know he went east. And it's only been a few days. He can't have gone far. Anything else that we need to collect? What are you standing here for? You've seen the shrines in the desert? We used to light the sacred fires. But it's too dangerous now. Yes, I guess that's going to be my uh, duty. Warning, Mad Matthias, the infamous Lisconzi brigand, has recently been sighted near the abbey. He may be accompanied by a gang of cutthroats and thieves. Outstanding charges against this criminal include murder, assault, mule theft, and contributing to the delinquency of a goblin. What? What does that even mean? Oh well. Professor Jabberhack, formerly at the Stonebridge Collegium, is rumored to be hiding out in the Adenoid Desert. According to his former colleagues, Jabberhack has been conducting illegal experiments on the bodies of the dead. He is extremely dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. I guess we're going to have to spread more death to this already rather undead desert. Ah yes, well, these are just skeletons. Unless there's something that's actually interesting, I am not going to bother with it. Hmm, what is this then? The corpse over there hasn't been dead for very long. And this corpse is several days old and appears to be a Lisconsi mercenary. The marks from a strangling cord having cut into flesh are visible around his neck. His body has already been stripped of valuables except for a journal which is covered with dried blood. Been a few days since we dug up that old Azanite stash. Trouble is I don't trust my so-called partners. I'm supposed to meet Andrei and Radu by the oasis after the storm dies down, but I've half a mind to find the loot and clear out before first light. I'd sooner have my back to a Dakenware than those two. Well, apparently he got betrayed before he could betray anyone else. Serves him right. Let's see, what else is there to do here? Let's head up here. I think there should be something right up there. Probably the Lascanzi bloke. I think they've mistaken us for easy prey. Ah. Poor buggers. Oh, I can't actually... I can't actually blow up the gate. I do need to manually open it. Holy shit, yes. They did mistake us for easy prey. Again level up? That's already the second time and I haven't been in this desert for that long. 
This is just a large piece of lore, isn't it? Yes. I can't inspect those wagons. Anything else over here? I think the cat is already fighting. Ah, oh, just some loot. Apparently the level up is still waiting for us. Oh well, well, we're going to get to it. Good God, right now. Keep some for me. Mad Matthias. What the hell? Oh, he's a ranged bastard, isn't he? Let's get the cat out. Say so he's got something else to shoot at as well. I think I'm going to have to want to dodge that rubbish that he's shooting at us. Looks pretty dangerous to be getting hit by one of those things. Yep, alright, that worked out splendidly. Holy shit, Dune Reaper, 31,000! I'll equip that later. But I actually do want to see how it looks. Uh, no, not through that. Oh, alright, oh, alright, oh, alright, oh, alright. There isn't actually a whole lot that I still want, is there? Spinning kick? Yeah, I'm not really using that all the time, time. Ignite, I'm not using that at all. I am using the Volatile Barrier a lot. Why not make that do more damage? Usually the absorption amount is insufficient to actually absorb anything apart from uh, one or two attacks. So raising the absorption amount isn't going to make it a whole lot better. Not on hardcore difficulty. Oh wait, I did want to check out how the weapon, uh, what kind of statistics it actually has. So where is that damn thing? Should be a gun, Dune Reap. Holy shit, 158 attack. And very nice willpower. Okay, that should be a good upgrade. Mm, let's head into that direction first. Yeah, there's a safe point over there that should work perfectly. That is a lot of skeletons. Also, um, well, actually that's not a lot of skeletons at all because they're all dead. So what's this then over here? In the alcove. Well, there's a safe point. At least that's nice. Is this just going to be loot? Well, certainly a lot of skeletons. I think I'm a bit too powerful for this region now. I don't know why things die so quickly. And the knockback effect is very noticeable. But I think that's Reinhardt's doing. Doesn't look like there's anything else over here right now. Probably something that we're going to have to return for later on. Alright, I think and with that I'm going to call it a day for now before we head further and deeper into the desert and kill more skeletons. I believe that's a new enemy. Fast skeletons that deal a whole lot of damage very quickly, I guess. We've already seen that type of enemy plenty of times, but not in skeleton form. Um, anyway, before I'm going to continue with this on and on and on, uh, I'll call it a day for now and then I'm going to see you next time. Before I end the video though, there are a few of the consequence videos that I still owe you. One of them is actually the consequence of what would happen if we had not given the mana to Leona, but had taken the mana for ourselves. And the other videos are what would happen if we had surrendered the uh, dapper old gent to uh, the authorities instead of taking him for ourselves. Alright, I think that's it for now, and then I'll see you next time. Have a good evening. But the people of Stonebridge still bore him a grudge, so we were forced to send the gent north for his own safety. There he took possession of Gunderic Manor and all the magic that lay within. In time, the manor will again become a training ground for a new generation of legion mages. After many months of confinement, the dapper old gent was sent to the gallows and hanged. His body was supposed to be returned to the legion, but it vanished on the following night. To this day, no one has been able to find the gent's remains. 
It seems he is destined to remain a mystery in death, just as he was in life. Only a few weeks later, elections were held in Stonebridge. Meister Wolf, who had been so public in his support of the Legion, swept to victory and was declared mayor of the city. He credited you for his success. The people of Stonebridge deeply respected your decision to hand over the dapper old gent to the city authorities. <laughs>